Well, hello. Um, I wanted to show you the aftermath of the French drain and everything um, that was done to um, to my yard, and um, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased. I'm quite pleased actually. So we're gonna flip this video around, and uh, I'm gonna show you the yard. So here you can see we're coming from the street, walking towards our backyard. This is the first rain down sprout spout. So he came. The gentleman they dug in. They went down doo -doo 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 -doo, all the way back here. They also incorporated this other downspout, which um, something we will need to do at some point is to do something about the gutters because you know all that wonderful stuff that falls off of trees at different times of years, the leaves and the polleny things and all that business. It can block up your rain gutters, so we need to do that so we don't wreck our French drain. So, um, but this is through the fence. So there was a big collection spot and um, I've got a video of the rain collecting um, in those areas. That is gonna help that um, take the superficial water, the surface water coming in. But then also remember this pipe that they laid down is perforated. That means it's got all kinds of holes in it. So as the water seeps into the ground next to that pipe and they're all the gravel that's laid across that, it's just gonna go right in that pipe and it's gonna travel down because there is a slope. You need to have some water, excuse me, we'll need to have a slope to, uh, to move it. Otherwise you're just gonna have standing water there. Um, coming all the way down. Originally, the plan had been to have a pop-up valve down here um, where this retaining wall is because, again, I didn't want to drill, and he also agreed that that was not a good idea. But what they found that once they dug down in there, they were actually able to coordinate and to hook up with this small hole. I'm gonna, so this hole they dug in, and they had to break up a pretty large rock. Um, this is part of it left over there. Um, so anyway, so they were able to coordinate, um, excuse me, to connect that into that hole, the pipe into that hole there. So it's coming out. So there's been nothing messing with my retaining wall. And then there's also this area here, which is um, going to collect it. And it's going to run all the way. This pipe is under the ground. It's going all the way to the end of my yard out into the green belt which is a little, there's a little creek back there. You can definitely tell that there's been erosion over the years, which is understandable. So I'm really glad they have gotten this project done. They did this in less than probably four hours. It was a pretty great experience having this project done. They were professionals. They didn't leave a mess. They even actually helped me remove a couple of roots that were in the way in a different part of the yard. So um, just super nice people, did a fantastic job. Um, I highly recommend them. And um, I can't wait for the next big rain so I can um, show you how, um, how this thing works. So um, thanks so much and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was um, um, useful to you. I hope it was of value to you. And um, of course, if you have any questions, um, plug them in here, email me, text me, send me a carrier pigeon, whatever it is, it works for me. So have a blessed day and I hope this project is something that could benefit you too. Thanks, bye-bye.